All right, let's go ahead and do uh, another example with sum and difference rules. So here we have a d dt of minus 3t to the 8th plus 2e to the t minus 5 ln t. So uh, just like with example 1, uh, we'll go through this one in a lot of detail just so that uh, you'll have a thorough understanding of uh, what's going on. So let's uh, zoom out a little bit maybe. Yeah, all right. So this is going to, actually, no, let's just stay down here. Uh, this is going to equal ddt of minus 3t to the 8th plus ddt of 2e to the t uh, minus ddt of 5 ln t. All right. So um, here we're using the sum and difference rule together, actually, because what we have is uh, this plus this, but then minus this. All right. So no matter how many terms you have, you can just split it up into a sum or difference of derivatives of each term. So in other words, you can differentiate term by term. Uh, this is how that's called. You differentiate term by term. Uh, and that's actually really helpful, because if you have a really messy, complicated expression um, that you have to take a derivative of, uh, it's really helpful if you, can only, you know, if you only have to look at it term by term. Um, but anyway, so continuing with this, uh, what's next? Here, negative 3 is just a constant, right? So we can just pull it out uh, of the derivative. So that's negative 3 times uh, d dt of t to the 8th. That's, uh, that's an 8. Oh, boy. All right. Um, here, now we have plus d dt of 2 e to the t. So 2 is just a constant, so we'll just pull that out of the derivative. So d, dt, uh, and then e to the t. Uh, and then what? Minus d dt of 5 ln t. So 5 is just a constant, so we can pull it out. So what we have is uh, 5 d dt of natural log of t. Okay, so pretty much almost there. Uh, what's next? Negative 3 times, uh, what's the derivative of t to the 8th? Well, that's just the power rule, right, with uh, positive integer power. So that's going to be... Uh, 8 times t to the 7th, right? And then here, plus 2 times what? Uh, derivative of e to the t, with respect to t, is just e to the t. So we have that. Uh, and then over here, d, d, uh, well, we still have this 5, minus 5. Uh, and then we have d dt of natural log of t. So it's just plain old natural log of t, and we know the derivative of that is uh, 1 over t. Okay. So um, we don't really want to leave it just like this, but we can simplify just a little bit, uh, simplify our cleanup. The negative 3 times 8, that's negative 24. So we have negative 24t to the 7th uh, plus 2e to the t. And then we can write this as minus 5 over t. Okay, so that's uh, our answer for example 3.